Is that he'll get bodied? Damn. Yeah, he'll get bodied. I was just toying him with my uh, oxidizer. Okay, I see it. Look, they're up there. Wait a minute. Y'all were in east. Yeah, we're in east. Or did I say south? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm streaming, by the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> good, good to know. Well, we got a manhunt, so... What's up, Robert? Welcome to chat. Where have I been? Uh, I tried to post as much as possible to update the community on my community page on YouTube. Um, for over 100 days, been in the hospital. And before then, for a year, I was like going in and out of the hospital and almost died uh, three times. And finally, finally, I managed to uh, break out and uh, finally healing up and here I am. Trying to revive this so-called uh, dying channel that... Well. Hold on. Wow, I... really gotta pull up the skills. Really gotta pull up the skills. Come on. <laughs> what skills? You talking about the skills <laughs> that it skills? takes to actually play the game or the skills that you actually use that's intended to be used in the game? Well, you're using shield though, so get out of here, because you're garbage. Okay, Mr. Shield Dependent, if you say so. I'm not a shield dependent. Hey, take off the shield, that's still full, y'all. Then take it off, then. Let's see. Put your money where your mouth is, yeah, kid. No, no, no. I will, I will, I will. Alright, y'all get ready to fight them. I'm gonna sit back and watch. <laughs> 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 I appreciate that, Robert. Yeah, a lot has changed, and I'll be honest to tell you, every single build, that's the one that I left on was my true Patriot back in the day, and that was so old. Everything is obsolete and outdated, so I'm still going to try my best, you know, as always, but the main thing is... That's the guy that killed me. Just to have a... A good time and have some fun. I'm not gonna go all try hard sweat. If I was gonna do that, then it'll just be the same old, same old. You get the, the people that run shields complain about the ones that run skills, and you get the skill people complain about the one using shields. Just use what's what fits as far as the squad that you're with, or whatever gets you a kill. It doesn't matter what you use. I mean, it's in the game for a reason. I just refuse to ever wear a, sh wear a shield. I'll run around with an obsolete True Patriot bill with uh, a watch score of 559 and still have fun. Ah, uh, your cum gun does not work on me! I'm just waiting for him to do something. 
let them fight. Got him. Hee <laughs> hee. I make good bait. You stare at my sweet behind, just dancing around and get you all mesmerized. <laughs> That was pretty easy. Just took a shot to the dome and that was all it took. Shut him up. He dropped the shield and brought up the cum gun though. Mm -mm. Eventually I'm gonna have to break down and actually farm again, which is I'm dreading. I think I'm just trying to hold off until the new content comes. If ever new content will actually come. I mean, yeah, we got the new PBE mode, but woohoo! I'm on uh, PlayStation. Yeah, this is actually only like the I was on a little bit earlier with laughing, and then for this only three times. I'd say probably a total of ten times in the last two years. Because I got on Halloween last year with uh, Soul Killer, aka Jason, the OG. Shout out to him, and. Uh, Played that horror game. Ah! Uh, I just said that so he can try to come out. He's probably not gonna come out. Uh, talk to the game. Talk to the game for a little guy. That was a horrible throw. Yeah, the first time I got... Oh, man. It would have worked. The first time I got back on, I, I had to figure out and remember actually how to use the skills. But that's basically the, the three mediocre things that I have. A skill build, a healer build, and a true patriot one. I have no good ARs to run an AR with. Don't have even a decent Fenris chest piece with unbreakable on it. <laughs> I have lots of builds, but I just don't use them all. I ain't too good with them all anyway. They said they, um... Got the drop. So I wonder where they're at. Oh, he just got post. post. Yeah, he just come out. Oh, he just came out. Fuck <laughs> 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 oh, off with the skull! <laughs> 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 oh, poor baby. Why are you so angry? Did mommy not change her poo poo diaper? Go go gaga. <laughs> Dude's like grunting and growling over there. <laughs> like he's trying to squeeze off one. He's pinching a loaf off right now. A lot of people take this game like it's real life or something. It's so serious. I know. I think he tried to put on a glass cannon build. Because he had really low armor. Yeah, I know, Robert. That's why I'm just waiting. Because since I'm going to have to farm for that new gear set, the Heartbroken. Bye. Where are you going, little girly man? <laughs> The bit had to put on skill build. Is that behind the you? The bit had to put on fucking skill build. Oh, well look, you, you get skill built again. Go suck a dick! Your mom don't love you, bitch! Oh, <laughs> somebody needs to go see a therapist, but God bless you. Oh man, the language in this game. Oh. Just because you're upset, or because you haven't fulfilled your transition into womanhood, doesn't mean you can take it out on other players in the dark zone, okay kid?
telling you, they got these kids on hormone blockers that's just putting them in a rage. You did. Tell your therapist I said hello. <laughs> oh, kids is raging. <laughs> oh yeah, there'll be Man. more to come. Um, I was telling, uh, laughing this story, and I, I, I actually got the video I'm gonna try to put out. Uh, I was debating, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to because my my channel can't die anymore. But there was a kid with the clan tag VBS and the, another kid from the X, uh, XIM clan. And they were like all 1v1ing out there. I'm like, oh no, it's the Vacation Bible School versus the Sirius XM Radio. And then some dude just that wasn't even in the 1v1 just there. Hey, don't mention the Bible. And especially if you're Caucasian, you don't have the right to say nothing about the Bible. The Bible is a lie. God hates us. What? I'm like, if you, especially if you're Caucasian, what the, yeah, really racist? and he's like, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, I'm Jew, and I'm like, what does that have to do with the price eggs in China? Does that mean that all people that believe in Jesus Christ have to be Caucasian? And I did lie to him, though. I was like, no, I'm Asian. Well, I'm only Asian from the waist down, but, you know, and he was like, oh, all right, cool. Uh, but yeah, don't mention the Bible because the, the Bible's a lie. I don't believe in Jesus Christ and God don't love everybody uh, and and this and that oh, and it was <laughs> it was crazy and just it went went on and on for like 15 minutes. Haha, <laughs> -ha, you did. <laughs> Jeez, my mom doesn't love me. She told me so. But yeah, I got that whole conversation. It went off like 15 minutes, and and then like a dude from uh, the UK spoke. I was like, don't believe what he's saying because I'm Jewish, and you know, you know, we're, we're not that racist and whatnot. We don't, you know, buy skin color. And he was the other dude chimed back in and was like, it's in the Bible. And then I try to quote him like John 3.16 where it says God so loved the world. He, and he was like, well, the New Testament don't count because it, it, like, that's not really part of the Bible. I'm like, what? And then he was like, uh, you have to base everything on color. God did. He created us all a different color. I'm like, no. <laughs> um, we were all the same color. And when the Tower of Babel fell, that's when we were all scattered amongst the earth. And, he, and then he was like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. My dad was a minister. Hello. You see his little head popping up over there? <laughs> Where'd he go? On to the left? No, nah, he's right here. Hi. There you go. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> high nasty <-nest> son. <laughs> He he gonna break his desk now. <laughs> you know you know he's biting on his controller wire right now. <laughs> like <laughs> Somebody go get this man some Ridlin. His mom comes in and he's like, Get out of my room, I'm playing division. <laughs> These guys are being mean to me. Mom, more hot pockets. Yeah, I mean he's I mean it's either his, uh, and I'm not, well, I am going to. Uh, someone that sounds the age that he does does not need to be talking that way. It's either his parents aren't at home, he wasn't raised right, or he's just repeating what others uh, have said on the game itself. And, you know, and, it, and it's a sad thing. Yeah, my, uh, my youngest I mean, I used to... is... He's... Oh, go ahead, sorry. He's nine. So I, I mean, my youngest is nine, man, but... He plays on the Oculus. Uh -huh. I don't know who the hell he is on there, man. I don't know who that kid is. He's evil. Like the way he talks, like the way he what he says, like boy. 
I would tell him, like, man, you can't be doing that. And it's like when he gets off, he's a different kid. But how he talks on there, I was like, uh uh. But his two older brothers, they're not much older than him. They're allowed to cuss, but he is not. Yeah, I actually, uh, I mean, I used to cuss up a storm on this game. I mean, you can watch past videos and see that and say some really, you know, vulgar things. But everything that I've been through the last two years gave me a new perspective. And I come to the realization I wasn't raised that way. And there's too many people in the world like that as it is. So since I've been playing or whatnot, I actually have not cursed. Yeah. Well, I don't take the I don't take the game, you know, so damn seriously. I just want to have fun, you know. If I get killed, I get killed. If they get killed, you know, so be it. But more more often than not, I get killed. Ah! Behind. Where did that hop come from? I don't see it. I guess he left. Come on, bitch! Oh, well, I wasn't paying attention, but God bless you, son. God bless you. Tell your parents to teach you better. I'm still alive, he kid. He got one kill. You got, oh you got one kill out of all that. It was just because of the <laughs> bomb. He was like, burn, burn. <laughs> What's the matter? He's dead. Burn that pussy! Burn! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even shoot at him! <laughs> I didn't even shoot him! I was just standing there. <laughs> oh, man. Go get a skill build too, man. Kill him with a drone and turret. Ha ha! Ha ha! Catch me if you can! Ooh. Oh, I hear him banging on the desk! He's just, ah! <sighs> I think he has some anger problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only got, like... Uh, he's coming out faster than my hive can re reboot up. But, Hold on, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna boost this thing up real quick. What's well, good, Kingdom Mucko Chat, my guy? Appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> ha ha, now I'm gonna fart on you. Ah. He dropped his tampon and soaked me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, and see, the people that I used to play with and game with all the time, all of them have left the game, and I was lucky enough that, you know, Calvin was on, and this is Jetta, a friend of his, and I mean, it's like everybody just moved off of this game. <laughs> And I played with Control Chaos, you know, a little bit. Uh, the second night on, got that 180 manhunt. But other than that, I mean, it's I, I just don't have anybody else. And I posted on social media that I was looking for people to game with that was like-minded, that like, you know, to primarily PvP, but also PvE for, like, the, the new stuff that'll be coming out. Yeah, John, better calm down now. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll make your mouth sore. Your mom don't love you. Shut the Apparently she don't love you because she didn't raise you. My mom, I do love me. I didn't say she didn't. I said she didn't raise you right. If she loved you, she'd have raised you right. You wouldn't have that potty mouth. Sound like you've been eating the diaper, kid. My mom doesn't give a fuck. But I hope God uh, blesses you anyways and just know that God does love you. Even though, you know, your parents don't. That shit's annoying. Well, too bad it is the truth, you cum guzzling gutter slut.
So you don't hear me yelling or crying about it, do you? Lacking, come on, push, push, I appreciate push, that, push, Kingdom. Push. Fucking do you, Lacking. You're hard life. Got something for this. Sorry, I'm trying to read chat. Same time. Well, he, there's two of them now. Uh, it looks like uh, accidental potty mouth is skill build, and the other one looks like uh, your typical AR possible armor regen build. I have to be outside the check to nearby. I could put on a healer. Which, which, uh, which, um, is it the ongoing or the going? Uh, what's that? Um, I don't know how to dig it up. I can come out now. Ah. I did not see him. That's my bad. Did not see him. Get him laughing. I can't yet. How come his stuff's not red? You ain't got no red bar, nothing. Ooh. Ain't got no bar above his, above his head. Oh, you might be wearing that dang, uh, let's call it. The corrupt, uh, system corruption. There, I got you. I got two skill builds now. I tried. Oh, that's all that matters. Yeah. Right. We're just having fun. Uh -huh, I didn't do it right. I left him a little surprised. Thing you have. Oh, yeah, I'd hit the wrong button. I shouldn't have gave up. Gotta run with it. Is everybody having a good night, though? You enjoyed the little kid screaming? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I don't care for all the words he's saying, but... Yeah, that was just... Mm -mm. I 
I feel sorry for her. Uh, I kept that rank. Yep, I'm coming out. Yes, I popped a med kit. It's all in the timing, kid. Here, you want to put my healer build on? That's all it is, is timing. Oh, crap. This... It took my magazine off of it. Give me one second. I wonder why I ran out of ammo so quick. Actually, here, I put my sniper build on. Did he run the other direction? Yeah, he ran straight out. I think he dropped a turret. Or that all the turret? That's my turret. That one must seem to work. Got him. Domed him. Yep, skill build's coming now. On an annoying little. Shit. Yeah, we can even back up. We need to. You missed. Hey, come on. Let's take off and then uh, wait for him to come back. I'm, I'm coming back. Right, I just got uh, a few more seconds and I'll come right out. Yeah, he brought out the sticky. Bleeding so. here. Yeah, heal up. To get around the corner, heal up. Missed again, kid. Missed.
Back out yet, laughing? Eh, uh, I died up here. Oh, you should you should have told us. Uh, that's fine. I was just distracting him in the back so he'd come back to uh, the door. Shut up, Pete! You don't see us raging though, do you? Shut up, Pete! Oh, you feel that better. That you you found your baba. Now now you 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 need pacifier. You need die die change. You need die die change, huh? I'll get you a one baba, okay? Okay. Do you want pacifier? Tell John it's almost time for his bedtime. That's his name. But yeah, I just hopped on tonight for those that didn't know what I've been going through and why I've been away for so long, just to let them know that and just to have some fun, to chill, go for a checkup appointment tomorrow. Molly, you snore too loud. I don't know, there's another one extraction. Uh, that wouldn't be them. Huh? That wouldn't be them, though. I don't know, they, they had enough time to make it there. The northern extraction? No. We're in the, we're in, <laughs> we're in the northern part. It's just uh, straight down the road. No, no, that's the western extraction for this place. No, he would. I mean, they were around. Well, well that's the north. The north is around we're in the western part of DZ East. It's in the northeast. And then there's one yeah. south, uh, you, southwest. You wouldn't, have made it, you wouldn't have made it that far. Oh, there's two actually extractions going off. Man, at least, I mean, if it's not, then at least it'd be somebody different. We don't have to listen to his potty mouth. I put on the most toxic thing that I know. Pray for me, I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, they just need to show LMGs more love than any other weapon right now, really. Or at least give me my cloud back. My mist of piss. Shoot that true patriot. A pestilence build. I put it on the map. Still going off unless it's glitched out. No, I saw the helicopter fly this way. The southern extract is popping though. Oh, uh, y'all, where'd y'all go? Y'all went the other way. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I was following y'all after a minute. My brother hit me up. I had a message. I mean, I'm coming at the northern extraction right now. Yeah. I'm seeing anybody come this way. I wouldn't think that he would have ran that far in that amount of time to pop something. So. Uh, somebody just killed somebody. Somewhere. Wasn't none of them. Mm-mm. I gotta put on my GPS so I don't get lost. <laughs> put on the old DZ Garmin.
See, even if I would use what uh, typical everybody else is using, I, I couldn't because I don't even have a uh, decent AR. It took me a long time to find one. I used to have several. And uh, when I came back, like, uh, those once or twice about nine months ago, it's like it was gone. I don't know. I got one friend. He he, he swear his gear just disappears all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I was missing a, a bunch or... of stuff. That and a bunch of exotics was missing still. And I'm like, I know I got them because I did a video on how getting them. Where is this person at? Oh, he's right here. He's, oh, yep. You found him? Yeah. Might right. be like, might be Casper. And my left stick, uh, it's like when I stand still, it'll automatically walk to the left it sticks so when i try to like pop it and out of cover i'm not doing it on purpose it's just my left stick is stuck and it does it automatically <laughs> i had one controller that it was fine while i was playing but when i get down in cover and aim that sucker would wonder I guess they killed him. Hit it. Hit it. Oh! Didn't see him. I must be blind or need glasses. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot of guys here. Oh man, where'd they all come from? <laughs> they like cockroaches. They came out the woodwork, man. Hell yeah, they did. <laughs> so wait, what's the purpose of running a purple pistol? Does it like increase your damage or something? Uh, no, there was a uh, like a glitch with it at one time, and most people think okay, it is. It must be. It's like a damage glitch uh, type thing, and most people still think it works, but they said it was fixed. Yeah, I uh, just saw, I saw another guy with one, so I didn't know if they like got away around it or what. Man, I'm gonna have to suck down and actually play this way. Forgive me, chat. I'm. Stupid low. All right. Put this spot around for you. Spanky. Actually, I got a DZ Pulse one, man. Probably better. Thank you uh, very much, Happy Helper Helpington. Done him. Dunum, 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 See, I can never deploy that stupid piece of crap shield when I want to. That's why I don't ever use it. And it won't let me spot in because somebody's over the door. There we go. Back to life. 
back to reality. Okay. Oh, that little squeaker's here. Is it multiple of them, or...? No, just that one that was raging really hard. Typical bot build, double from Mars, shield decoy. Same thing, about 99% of everybody's using. I used to run like the FAMAS, one with run one Optimus, one Instinct. For some reason, like they wouldn't really take damage. Yeah, well, I mean, they said they're fixing the. The bed kit choice, uh, chest swap, and then the other um, other glitch that people are using where the shields proc and in sync that's supposed to be fixed as well that people still use. Yeah, well, see, so I mean, the um, they're I know they're fixing that, and they're also what, making them uh, disoriented if the, sh if the shield breaks. It's supposed to take a lot more damage. His, uh, but the, the the big shield doesn't one. though. The bulwark shield, uh, whatever you want to call it. Bulwark. Yeah, the the big one. It don't it don't take a lot of damage. Oh, you like can't! That. I hadn't even fired a bullet at you, and you can't kill me. You really do suck. Are you coming out? Yeah. <laughs> Just is wondering. I was trying to distract him for uh, laughing. It didn't work. Well, I mean, it worked at first. Because yeah. I didn't even fire a single bullet at him. I was just running around. Then I, I was going to hop up into the planter. And it stopped me. And I couldn't jump up into it. And I'm like, oh, crap. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, so that's, I mean, one, some people, like that little kid, raids like when they die or whatnot. Dude, it's the dark zone. Eventually, you're gonna die. Oh, yeah. There's no if and two ways it's, about it. It's just right here's my, my, um, call DZ Pulse. <laughs> but it's all blue re with regen. And I'm not sure if it has has on it or not. It does have has. And it has some regen on it. It worked pretty good. I can't just kill me with one sticky, I'll tell you that. It's like there was tons of people out here, and now there's nobody. Somebody fired off the northern extraction again. Fucking bot. Yeah, shoot somebody in the back, but. God bless you, kid. God bless you, kid. God bless you, kid. God bless you, kid. Yeah, I was in my menu. No, what's up, Notion? Notion of death? Hey, I just had one of those. See, that's usually rule number one. Don't ever go into your menu, but I didn't see nobody around. And what they call Call of Duty timing, I go in my menu, and what happens? What, you gotta go doo-doo? Yeah, you need to go wash your mouth out because it sounds like you've been eating crap. Damn. That's what you are, crap. Hmm. Well, you smell like it. So I guess that makes you crap?
There you are, baby. There you are, little kid. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm a little kid. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I mean, if the shoe fits, if it walks like a duck and sounds like a duck, it must be a duck, right? Bro, you ass. I don't know why you talking. Go PVE. Hmm, well, I guess for somebody that's been off the game for two years, you would say that, but I didn't have to shoot anybody in the back of the head in order to get a kill. <laughs> Good job, dude. Yeah, you're right. You, you showed me up. You showed me up. I hadn't made one of them in two years, so yeah. Why don't you go PBE? Why you gotta be so ignorant and use such foul language? You know, God loves you, don't you? And you're still dead. Does that make you feel better? Does that make you feel better, kid? You're acting like you're having a temper tantrum. Look at his belt. Doodle. Yeah, because I'm not like everybody else. I don't have to do the what everybody else is doing just to get up on somebody. Yeah, you do sound like that. You sound like a little baby. <laughs> Dude, he's getting so riled up. I don't care. I'll let him kill me a hundred times just to get this. Free content. Yep. That's what it is. You wanna you wanna go for it again? Does that make you feel better? that make you feel better, kid? Does that make you feel better? I'll come out again and let you do it again. I mean, nobody has okay. an, ori okay. an original bone. Man. Nobody has original bone in their body anymore. They just wear what everybody else is wearing. Don't shoot me, bitch. Don't shoot me. Why not? Go back to the checkpoint. Oh, I'm not throwing a temper tantrum like you were. I'll stand up here so you can pitch a fit again. <laughs> Little kids these days, they just don't have no manners. Are you done with your temper tantrum? Because it was on there two years ago, so I put it on there again. No, it don't work. Why are you running? Shoot the gun. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> I told you, I'll let you kill me. It, for some reason, uh, you get more mad the more times you kill me, so go ahead, have a temper tantrum. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> you cry more. <laughs> Fight normal. What's normal? I don't know. I That's think you're broken, man. So yeah, I think you're broken. Is that something like Japanese? Numo Arigato Mr. Roboto? Calm down there, Mr. Sweaty Pants. Calm down. Calm down. We're all friends here, except for you that needs a diaper change. Mr. Shield Dependent. Mr. Shield Dependent. Mr. Shield Dependent. Yeah, and I have yet to use one, and that's <laughs> what you consistently use. <laughs> use the same build that 99% points, 99% of everybody uses. Be original for once. <laughs> What's up? I don't exactly know how to pronounce your name. I don't know, bruh. You have to ask him because it's like the more I let him kill me, the more upset he gets. I'm using the drone. Defend the drone. Uh, 
Over here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You can throw your temper tantrum back again when you come back out, okay? Okay there, little boy? Thank you. Now I'm gonna fart on you. I swear when you tell somebody God bless you, they get more mad too. Oh yeah. I don't know why that is. The, the nicer you are to somebody, the matter they get. It's 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 crazy. You know that's the second rule. You never stand on top of a. That's all good. I just want to see who we shoot. Don't worry, we got you. We got you. I'm gonna teabag you first, though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just had to. Yeah, pick him up. Just had to dip you a little bit. There you go. Don't worry, he's gonna come out even more mad than what he was while ago. I don't know what's but up with GG's, people, man. Why are they taking it? I don't know why, why they take it so seriously. I, mean, I, I remember back growing up, I mean, it, it, video game was about fun. You know, of course, you know, Mario, Donkey Kong, <laughs> and all that. But, you know, Castlevania, Ghouls and Ghosts. Yeah. What's up, PG? What's up? I've seen you. I've seen you before in uh, some of your... Plan members in Chaos's stream. How are you? What's up, Mr. Wheeler? How you doing, Mr. Here they come. Alvaros? Okay, nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hi, guys. I'm, I'm going to have to welcome you in to meet me, uh, Jet. And I, I'm sorry. RUN! <laughs> uh, I was wondering, like, what are you talking about? What? I'm thinking. <laughs> you always like to be surprised. Oh, man. Yeah, I was there switching. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Yeah, that's how he gets it. Make sure you get your stuff ready first, then. <laughs> because he's relentless. Uh huh. That's just sad when the game puts puts on an eclipse piece to go just to fill into another build. That's 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 sad. Right, I'm gonna try to talk them down. I'm gonna try to. Hey, can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? Hey, calm down, calm down. I want to talk. Ah! They don't want to talk. I'll bite you in your How ankles. Arr, 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 arr. Come here, I'll, I'll eat your ankles off. Arr, arr, 
I'm like a rabid pit bull, but the size of a chihuahua. I tried. I don't think they wanted to talk. I don't think so either. They were they were trying to use sign language with their bullets. the jammer they like the jammer no sure you don't want to talk about this come on guys let's talk All right, I'm gonna go out there one more time and we can switch servers I'm just not I, I'm just not in a try hard sweat mood I just want to have fun come on guys let's talk about this <laughs> And now they're time to run. All right, we'll switch uh, servers. You don't want to play with them? Let's see, full squad of people that have pretty much maxed out builds and that have been PVPing consistently for over a year, where I have not in. No, I'm, I don't want to be the weakest link. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I want to stay alive a little bit longer than two seconds. Being alive is overrated. Yeah. Well, welcome, everybody. Appreciate everybody tuning in to see this massacre. <laughs> yeah, just come out the door. Y'all coming? Uh, yeah, I'm coming. Where'd you go? Go out the main door the and come back and fire, ma'am, and uh, then when we cross back, it, we should change servers. But somebody keeps going out the other door. The door into the LZ, numb nuts. There's bad people out the other door. Yeah, hold on. I'm leaving. I'm, I gotta get out of the door first. I just wanted to give him a parting gift, and I think I knocked two with a shrapnel trap. That's the best way to take care of them. Alright. Man, there was one time we were in, I was in DZ, and there's probably like 10 rogues. Um, yeah, lots of times you won't call. Yeah, you'll get like two groups and both groups to go rogue and just kind of like put everybody in the middle that's coming after them as a sandwich and both feed off of it. Yeah, well, I was doing the, um, the seeker mines <laughs> and the, <laughs> the, the, um, the, what was it, the traps? The shock traps? But they were on the second floor and I was throwing them on the stairs and putting the seekers up, man, they're coming down the stairs. I did so many times, man. They all like, there's like two of them left. I'm not saying I killed them all. It just made them, it was aggravating the oh, hell out nope, of them. Nope, 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 Don't come in, don't come in. Don't come in? Oh, didn't work. Didn't work. You don't want to go in there. Uh, let's just go south. See what's down there. Yeah, every time I've walked out of DZ and go into the LZ and then just walk back, it switch servers it did not work that time <sighs> mr. Willie out there was trying to show me his Willie I, I got scared I didn't do that that 
was the chair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm Could telling everybody. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking so, to it. So where are we going? South. Yeah, there's more players out here. I'm gonna go introduce myself. Holy Testicle Tuesday, Batman. What's this? Hear ye, hear ye. I have arrived. Bow down before me, my servants. What? Nobody? Nobody? Oh, you're on your own. Aw, oh, man. That sucks. I could have just at least played along. <laughs> huh? What was that? We didn't hear you. You weren't loud enough. Don't touch me there. You're not my daddy. Okay. <laughs> my gun goes pew pew. Did you get him? Did you get him? Yes. I That's saw a uh, Raider Knight out here. I don't actually know who that one is. Raider! Raider. Hey, relentless. What's up, man? Long time no see. How's it going? How you doing? How's everything? Ah, oh, getting better now that I'm finally at the hospital after over 100 days. Yeah, I see your YouTube videos in the hospital and all that. You doing all right? Oh, shit. Yeah, so oh, far. A little bit better. Yeah, um, it's just my, uh... Well, I'm glad. I hope you're doing better. I hope everything works out for you. Yeah, I just got so bad off that I ended up becoming septic, and uh, my body went, went and healed its wounds because it, my body yeah. was kill, killing off the white blood cells for the healing right as soon as they, you know, because they, they have a lifespan. They'll die off and then yeah. some more, my body wasn't doing that, so surgery from, you know, going on two and a half, three years ago had never healed. And then this past June, uh, last year, I had a full rectum removal. So, yeah, Crohn's disease is not fun. I'm just glad to be back and just having fun. Well, that last summer we was in, there was this one kid, every time he died, he was... One's down, though. That seemed like a heart. The other shield dependent ran the other way. Yeah, I spent... Uh, he can't hear me now. I have to... <laughs> I can hear you. No, I taught Raider Knight. The other guys and... Yeah, they'll be coming out the checkpoint. Yeah, that my was, sick, you still got him. That was the chair again. Okay, I try to go into the DZ and it put me back onto a loading screen. If they would just invest a little bit in their servers besides a flashlight on their pistol and a mangy mutt the pet in the New York thing, we'd be so better off. Like a rock, Doro is as strong as he can be. Like a rock. <laughs> I 
You ask me, Come what's happening? Nothing? I guess he didn't like the song. I mean, his name was Doro Rock. So. Like the Chevy commercial all over again. Do you think that's going to work? Fire sticky and traps. Okay, I want to play that way. Sure. I can play that way. <clears throat> Ah, uh, you missed, you bot. And of course, I got one behind me, behind the counter, hiding, shield dependent. I swear, everybody and their grandma is wearing the same build. That's why this game won't have a, as much longevity as Division 1. And that's why most of them went back to Division 1 and would rather fight over hackers and mouse and keyboard on console then play division two. Oh, you didn't hear that. Oop, oop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody's got gas. But I don't care. I'm going to keep going out there. Took care of one. I think there's only one left. Sounds like the skill bill. Now there's two left. Yeah, they don't have to tell me I'm horrible. I know it. I tripped. I don't count. I remember you could put on a dead eye build and not even have an exotic weapon like the nemesis and with just a regular custom m44 could hold off a, a whole entire server and all you need was like somebody running like uh, an alpha bridge and then you could even, you know, mix a, a pred in there and it'd just be the three of you. And still, they wouldn't, they'd be too afraid to push because you, you could, with Dead Eye, you could tap them once in the head as long as you're scoped in, it's an automatic crit. I'd rather something like that come back and make all sniper rifles viable than the Nemesis. And But supposedly they're fixing that too. But keep in mind that uh, their track record when it comes to them saying what they're going to do hasn't been all that great. But. Only thing we can do is just continue to hope and be optimistic. I mean.
mean, I'm not one to be negative. It's just there's a <laughs> lot of yes men out there that'll just agree with whatever, no matter what the devs say or 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 whatever some content creator says. They they just agree without even factoring in you know whether it's feasible or not and if it actually make the game better uh, and you would think that all they had to do was learn from their mistakes from division one and learn from your mistakes and you won't repeat them well apparently they didn't learn so they're repeating them again i just don't get it i mean both games had so much potential i mean they could have probably added on to the dark zone and expanded it or you know, put another uh, half the size of the dark zone the way it was, like on another part of the map, and added in some of the gear sets, some more gear sets, and could have just stayed with Division One, and it'd been like a an add-on. Where am I? Oh, I got him on both sides. Ha ha! I'm alive! I'm alive! But I mean, they just took remnants of the gears that they had in Division One and just created a, another game. Regen is just like Nomad. Got you wearing the same build everybody else is. Yep. People just can't think for themselves. Oh well, let's go back out there and give it a good college heave-ho. There's one rogue to the right, and then uh, I think two others, at maybe possibly the same group, but on the other side. Yeah, I mean... Before I, you know, took my hiatus for my health or whatnot, I made a suggestion was instead of a new PBE game mode, which they, they we got, they should have brought survival into this game, and instead of snow like in Division One, since there's no snow in DC, that um, it could have been the sandstorms that we constantly, you know, see in PBE. Like a, and then I have like heat stroke or and something. You, yeah, you still have to, you know, there would still be like dehydration and... I mean, they could have played around with those ideas, you know? They're trying to, they're trying to, um... I'm getting focused. Got one. Yep, the other one's running. Better push up. I'm stemming. I got him. Appreciate it. God bless us, everyone. Hey, slap hands! Slap hands! Slap hands! I'll get you. Oh, you already got him. Good stuff. Good job, guys. Let's slap hands. Slap hands. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that like from the movie. Which one? Was... <laughs> I'm having tree outs uh, tomorrow. You went with Adam Sandler? Damn, um, what the hell was that? I can't remember the name Billy of that Madison. Movie. Madison. <laughs> oh, with the football thing. Um, Water boy. Water boy. 
my, my, my mama said alligators are so ornery because they got all their teeth and no toothbrushes. <laughs> Got him too. <laughs> Dude, them shields, you, you can't come up at the doorway. You gotta, uh, one go at a time. Or if one tries to back up, then it clogs everybody up. And down, pimping distress. 13, 11, 16, 38. Uh, I believe it's a um, mortar turret now, and uh, the fire sticky still. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, pretty much the same way you played survival in the first one, they could have done it in DC. I mean, the the layout's already there. I mean, it's not you. Would, one of the problems would have been, well, there's three different DZs now, and not just one big one. Well, I mean it. Instead of putting a flashlight on the end of a pistol that nobody uses and petting that dog, all they had to do, they could have uh, put all three of them together for the su survival uh, game mode. And just have like a, a simple like little bridge type thing. I mean, they could have figured something out. He was shooting me before I even got one of them. Supposed to like you know yell when you shoot, right? Oh, I can't see. I can't see. My eyes are closed. Ah. Shield dependent. This. Sit, put on a shield. Too bad it's not going to last on Bray. Told you. Valiant effort. GG's. Yeah, most people would have been frustrated and whatnot and wouldn't even want to get back on the game. And to be quite honest, I did not really have that much motivation or drive or enthusiasm to getting onto this game. But there are quite a few that have been loyal and have always, you know, went to other content creators' channels like Chaos's, Emofo, and would ask, you know, how I was doing. And I tried to post on my community page. I was getting texts and emails. And that's mainly the only reason why I even got back on the, this uh, game, Division 2. And then I looked at what other games were out there. Uh, I couldn't hop on the Elden Ring bandwagon because it had already started. Uh -huh. And I was so far behind on it that it, it just didn't make sense. You know, to play catch up and, you know, have to go through all that. But uh, I'm going to take a, a page from Ninja's page when, when Fortnite came out. You know, how all them little 12-year-olds came out and, you know, stole their mom's credit card. I'm not saying condone that. Don't do that. But, uh, yeah, when Hogwarts Legacy comes out, I'm taking all the 12-year-olds on, on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to be running around with my wand in the open world. Levioso. <laughs> Hey, you gotta come back when it, uh, whenever days, uh, the day before comes out. Dobby's Harry Potter's friend. Dobby watches Harry Potter take a shower. What? That's a kid's movie. What, what are you talking like that, Dobby? Oh, creepy now. Sorry, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Hey, 
You say, uh, dead before daylight? Or what game did you say? Oh, uh, the day before. Oh, well, they said it wasn't going to be that great. Because it was supposed to, like, hold on, assembly. It was supposed to, like, come to console, and somebody was telling me that, uh, my dude will not pick you up. Oh, no, he does, because my left joystick uh, sticks to the left. You missed. Now you killed yourself, numb nuts. Oh, yep. Crawl, man, crawl. I'll use the strong arm. Crawl, man. Crawl back here, Jet. Come here, dear buddy. My little fat buddy, I got you. I got you. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. I'm getting shot from the right. There you go, there, buddy. I got you. Shit. Oh, shit. NPCs are shooting through the window from up top. Aw, oh, man, I just want to talk and be friends. I really do. Got killed squatting. He ain't even, he's still squatting with no gun. <laughs> yeah, one's like almost hide? dead, and the shield dependent's going to go down, too. Good stuff. Toby is Jetta's friend. I got killed by a true son. Run! Would you like to play with Dobby's wand? <laughs> I mean, it'd be sweet if they actually had PvP and Hogwarts Legacy. Yep. Um, uh, I forget what the challenges are called, but they they do have something like that. I mean, it's worth know It's like it's still PvE, but you have like one battle that's like you and like somebody else or whatnot, and then open world and you know there's quidditch of course i could see people like trying to fly brooms around and <laughs> i would get so confused that'd be the the kids falling off his broom <laughs> constantly riding it upside down <laughs> You nope, you did not get me. You failed. You failed miserably. Miserably, little butt boy. My gun goes pew pew. Yeah. 
man from the back, like always. From the back. Hey, Lappin, why don't you get on your turret and drive it back there in the back and shoot it down the hallway? Your mortar. I was thinking about doing that. Um, because you already got one named like EBK back there with a nemesis. So, I mean, if he still does that, there'll be two of you. Because one or two always pushes up front. And then they always resort to go back in the back. So, if he's sniping, or I might put on my, my snipper. And just switch it. From the pistol launch. I mean, that's the way the game is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like playing paper, rock, scissors. If one group is rogue, let's say, and, you know, and they use a, a certain set of builds, then another group... How many of them are out there? Uh, two. It's two? No. Yep. Get off fire! Well, it was three. I was gonna try this out. Dennis, move to your left. One's uh, he's got he's got all of his armor off. He's one shot. He done healed up now. He's running. I'll get him. Yep. Good stuff. I think one guy's still out there. Yeah, I think I like hit him in like his hand and ripped his armor off. <laughs> Cause you know they were doing that corner peek and stuff. Where's he at? Is he up above? He might just be showing because he's dead. No, he's right over here. He's behind us. Behind us, and he's coming over this way. He's coming through this door. Thank you, Dan. It's definitely this way. I got mis misaligned hips. Uh, it hurts to run. I think he just ran backward. Yeah, he's circling back around. Yeah, he's meeting up with them. Now there's uh, three of them. Two. Go around to the left. Yep, right here. You walk out that door, you limping back. Oh, I didn't know y'all was pushing in. Just trying to trying to get another one of his friends all walk. I swear, I can't even... We're just gonna go back around. There's so many NPCs over here.
You're probably gonna try the other hallway again, like before. It was at this moment he realized he messed up. He's upstairs. Lost. Oh, I got sandwiched by NPCs. Don't leave me alone. Track suits, track stars. The ones that we just killed are, are going to be coming out right behind us, and all he's going to be doing it is going right back over to the same spot. Yeah, shield bot. Go figure. I hate those shields. Because any skill should not take that much damage unless it is directly supported by the yellow electronics attribute. You, it seems like you would have to spec somewhat in it for it to take the remote amount of damage that most of them are taking the damage now. And to be honest, I, I think they're going to... I hope people do their due diligence on the PTS and actually report the bugs instead of just not saying anything and then abusing them. You know? Because nice I mean, with everyone doing bugs, and, bug, everyone doing bugs and shit, it's like high raider. Fix, you gotta fix it. Yeah. Relentless. Yeah, I still, uh, uh, even from the hospital, I was watching, and when Ted finally got to stream or whatnot, I would hop in, it, hop in, in his chat. Yeah, once in a while, I'll get on his. Well, I'm not in the chat, but I watch it. Yeah, that was the only way I could stay sane because, uh, you know, with this way the world is, I didn't have hardly any visitors, and it was... Well, especially the time when you were sick, it was bad, huh? Yeah. Knock on wood. Thank God that I'm, I'm here and I ain't supposed to be, but still hadn't had the Rona, and it hadn't yeah, had no vaccine either. Sure. Many times I've been in and out of the hospital yeah. through doctor's offices and everything else, and got the nurses coming in, and still... So that's just by the grace of God. I'm, I haven't got that, or I mean, I'm still alive. Yeah, when I feel it's just like, wow, man. And dead for a while because he's the PC. That's all he's doing now and all that. Uh, but tell me that, and I say, that oh, that sucks. Yeah, I could never play on PC because my my pinky and ring fingers don't work on keyboard, so I, I'd be worse off than what I am on <laughs> controller. But I mean, then you you. People would yeah, say the options where you can like play yeah, on yeah. PC with a controller, but still, if you're playing with a controller on PC uh, against others that are using mouse and keyboard, that still puts you at a disadvantage. But I mean, it does give you still auto aim though. I, I think plays it with controller. I don't remember. I know he was for a while. He might not no more, but I upgraded his PC too. Yeah, the last time I talked to him, he was that, on so. uh, PC too. He was on there.
Yeah, so I'm glad for him on that, that he's doing PC and his stuff, doing good for him. Yeah. Of course, I don't think he's, because I usually get a notification, yeah. so, but I hadn't got a notification that he was streaming as of late, so hope he's doing all right. Um, I know he um, was in for a while because, uh, what was that, hurricane or something hit at it? Yeah, and like his that, uh, wife and, and the rest of his family was, like, was staying with other family and he was like staying in his car. Yeah. So he was, he was, I don't know how, like I said, I haven't talked to him for a while. Been on over here and uh, he's been streaming, but I know last time I talked to him, I had call him and text him and he was yeah. struggling for a while for that, but I think he, everything should be coming up and, you know, he should be doing better now. Yeah, because uh, right before I went to the hospital, you know uh, he told me that, and I was like, dude, I don't have no bills at the moment. So l let me, you know, pay for you a couple, at least a couple nights at a hotel so you can get some good sleep, you know, and whatnot. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, he, he's pretty proud of because I also asked him if he needs anything, just I'll help him out as much as I can. For real. But, um,. Doing all right, cause like I said, he upgraded his PC, so everything's probably falling back in place the way it should be, and hopefully it is. I'm still streaming through PlayStation, cause uh, with all that I've been through, I still can't afford a, a good PC to stream through or whatnot. I'm yeah, P their PCs, uh, PCs are pretty expensive. Uh, he almost convinced me to get one, but nice to even be competitive with some of these PC players. You're yeah, people that's played for years on mouse four and keyboard. Five. They got four or five grand on a PC or maybe mm -hmm. more, yeah. They, and like, they, and if they're streamers and like, you know, got a good following, like either on Twitch or YouTube, they usually have like a dual PC yeah. setup. Yeah, uh, stuff I, like that. I, yeah, because I watch iMarksman that, you know, plays Call of Duty, you know, pubs or whatnot. And, you know, he started out originally on controller. He was part of Team Caliber and the pros and whatnot. Then he went, was a Fortnite pro, but now he just, you know, I mean, he's this straight beast at Call of Duty. I mean, he just joins lobbies and he's so like... The majority of uh, these streamers are all PC, huh? Yeah. The majority of them? Damn it. Yeah, I would say a big majority of them, um, either they play with controller on PC or they're just straight mouse and keyboard. Because even Fortnite, I mean, but see the way I think Call of Duty is set up now, like sometimes you get mixed into lobbies with, uh, you know, with controller players if you're on PC. And I mean, it's, it's a debate back and forth, you know, I know aim assist is a thing and it does help them out, but when you got a mouse and I mean you played long enough and can easily just move and put it on somebody's noggin and three tap somebody. I mean, it's crazy. <sighs> well, guys and gals, I think it's it's about my time to sign off for the night. I got a, a couple of hour travel tomorrow for a, a doctor's appointment at one o'clock. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I get to go get violated by some more doctors. I mean, it's just a checkup, you know. And normally I would say, you know, when you're going to get a checkup, you don't have to bend over, cough, and get the thumb. But since, you know, uh, I'm getting dressings changed there from, you know, past weeks, it's 90% held up. Yeah, I'm going to like be a, a little uncomfortable like how, tomorrow. Like how far inside of the dressings? Um, uh, not too far, about, you know, two inches. Okay. But, I mean, it's like on the outside of my cheek. And the only other thing I'm dealing with right now is while I was in there, they had to put a pump in my back. 
to like to drain out like an you know infection or whatnot before my surgery and that past june they messed up the nerves some or somewhere because i still have tingling in like my, my left hand and two fingers and going down my leg and then when i was in this hospital this past time they uh through the procedure and whatnot they even made it worse and it more or less paralyzed my left foot where they, it's called drop foot so i'm trying to work with physical therapy to get it back now so right now i'm stuck on a walker oh damn yeah so yeah um getting up sitting down walking around is, is a little tough but day by day god's making me stronger and he wouldn't have kept me around this long and and walk me through all that i've been through in the last couple of years if he didn't have plans for my life so i'm not gonna swindle away that opportunity you know for nothing not for a video game and you know i may not so, curse as much as i so do no. or call names as much as i do but you know i'm a different person now and i hope you know people you can see that and respect those, that uh, have you ever tried one of those shocker things uh you get the yeah, I'm going to try that because, I mean, it, to stimulate that uh, that nerve because you got one that starts from the knee and goes on the backside, and the one that's messed up is one that goes over the top to where, you know, you can raise your toes up and your foot back to you. Mm -hmm. Well, mine, I, uh, my left foot, I can't. So, I mean, it, it's almost down to a, a complete point. See, my dad, uh, well, my dad and my brother, they've had a... Uh curing malformation and i'm probably gonna get checked for that too but uh my for my father he had to get a uh, one of those uh shockers implanted into his back like or his lower back and then it goes all the way up to his head and he has a remote battery to kind of stimulate in the back of his head to, like, yeah that's what my uh, aunt has but they told me the like, if it didn't come back on its own the only two ways to more or less remedy it is to take a nerve from another part of my body and you know place it or fuse my ankle together and i'd rather live the way i am now than have to go through yet another surgery and go through that process and possibly it not healing and being even in more pain so i'm just trusting the good lord doing my due diligence and what i'm supposed to do because i can cross my legs and i can you know twitch it and and it moves about an inch and that's as far as I've got it so far. So I'm just, if it's meant to be and it comes back, it comes back. If it don't, it don't. I'm going to still praise God all the way. Well, try some of that shock therapy stuff like on your leg and see if that kind of helps. Like, I mean, I don't know where you would put it, like either the foot or the lower back. I uh, swear where that nerve is. Probably most likely like a right around my knee to stimulate that nerve that goes down across the front of your foot. Because if you can stimulate it, and if I can make it, because that's the the nerve that controls pulling back on the on your foot. And yeah. I mean, I can move my other toes beside my big toe from side to side and spread them out, but I, I cannot move my my big toe hardly at all unless I cross my legs. And that that big toe is more or less where that nerve comes down into that whole pull back motion. So I'm gonna try to stimulate it, and if I can, you know, get it. To, uh, I don't know. Um, Flex to, that top calf try to, muscle. Try to do some daily massages, and that should help your like muscles and possibly nerves. Well, I mean, they said I could have what they call a community helper, which is like a nurse that comes in and would like do some like cooking and house cleaning or whatnot. And yeah. I, I told them no, because um, I look at it as if I don't try to do it my all myself. At least you know what I know I can do as far as that, and you know pick up with like a little claw thingy of myself or stuff I can't you know reach over and bend over to get or whatnot and do the cooking then if somebody always does it for me then I'll never learn to do it myself and if yeah. I, if it never comes back then you know I have to live that way so if that happens then at least I'll know how to live with it and how you know to get get by and I've been on disability since 2005, and since I was in the hospital over 90 days, they took my SSI check from me. So it cut my income in half each month to like 569 bucks. Shit. Sure. Yeah. So I'm fighting to get that back now because I've already sent them discharge papers uh, that was discharged on March the 31st of this year, and they have it on their records that... Um, 
I didn't get discharged the end of April, and I'm like, it's already the you know first week or two in April, and I faxed you over, and they already had stated when I was on the phone with them they received it, so the discharge paper says March 31st, and then they said I exceeded my my income of two thousand dollars a month. So it would be reduced down to zero. And I'm like, I've never had $2,000 at one time, you know, and it was like, well, the whole entire time in your hospital, that 569, they added up. And I'm like, what, you don't think I had bills? So I had a place to go after I left the hospital. I still was paying bills while I was in there. Was it toward the end of March, like the very last week of March? The very last day of March, March the 31st. That, but, that's when it was submitted? Or... No, that's when I was discharged from the hospital, and then uh, as soon as I got those, I, uh, the day before I left the hospital and, uh, and rehab and all that, I sent the paperwork in, so that way they already would have it before I even <laughs> reached my house, and then I, I called them that Monday, when the next uh, business day that they were open, and so now I got to get the, because the lease was actually I had got this this townhouse where I'm at now before a, a week before I even got out because I had nowhere to go because while I was in there I got evicted from where I was living and my sister's a district manager of some apartment complexes over spread out a couple of states from Virginia down to Missouri and Alabama and she just happened to have a couple apartments here in South Carolina so I'm an hour and a half away from any family in here and then I'm, she still lives in Virginia, and she's still three hours away. So I'm really on my own here, except for uh, the nurse that comes every other day to change my dressing. That's it. So that's another somewhat slight motivation for me trying to kick back up this YouTube thing. But if it happens, it happens. You know, I'm not banking on it. I'm just trusting in the Lord. Hey, Zero, what's up, man? How you doing? Well, usually when it comes down to it, uh. And you do need help. I mean, those nurses are pretty great. Those what was that? Home nurses. Like I said with those in her home nurses, they're pretty. They're pretty great at what they do. Because I, I know a few of them. Yeah, I mean, um, it's like I know I qualify for one, but I don't necessarily want to be waited on hand and foot. Because in that case, I would only get up in order to get my dressing changed, and I sit right by down on the chair. You know, the me getting hungry and, you know, forcing myself to get up and move around to fix something to eat or to go take a shower or whatnot forces me to fight up, fight my way up the steps because the full bathroom's upstairs. At least, you know, I have a rail or whatnot. It forces me to move around and get that, you know, foot moving and, you know, worked out and so it don't, you know, tighten up so much. And if I had, you know, too much help like I had in that rehab facility for physical rehab then yeah I you know I, I wouldn't feel like I was accomplishing anything on my own you know I was having everybody do it for me and I'd become lazy I know myself <laughs> um, are you in a walker walker or do you have like a like one of the walking canes no nah, just a, a standard walker you know I just okay. got two wheels and two tennis balls on the back and I'm thinking about spray painting it and, and putting some rims on it. Well, I know like um, there's been a few people I know who have uh, unsteady balance, and they either do the one with oh, a what's cart up, Merc? Where you can have, you have the cart and you can be able to like turn it around and sit on it, or um, there's the kind of like steady cane where it can just, uh, stay up and balance if you're trying to do something with your hands, and then uh, always like kind of like. How it kind of bobs and weaves with the sockets that's on the bottom. Yeah. It can like kind of simulate kind of like a walking pace for you. Yeah, I'm hopefully uh, going to transition to that sometime within like, you know, uh, a month or two. But right now, it's like, a, um, I wouldn't say clumsy. It's like sometimes I still forget that I have foot drop on my left foot and where my incisions and stuff are, they're still changing. It's still a little difficult to get up so at least having those four stationary things on a walker that i mean it's easier for me to to at least go halfway up and then push my myself up the rest of the way and then if uh, i get off balance or whatnot then there is it's a lot easier to lean on because that's the, me being away from any help whatsoever i mean i would have to you know call that ambulance if i you know actually fell and hurt myself or whatnot and i don't want to be back in the hospital 
far. But I know also know my sister who kind of got recently in a car wreck around like I think it was oh, around the sorry to hear that. And, and, and uh, she, uh, what happened is she hit a tree and then uh, she shattered both her uh, her hips, both her hips, and then I think uh, one of her ankles. Was this recently? And right now. Um, it was like somewhere in like either December or January. Is she getting better, or uh, I mean, she's still working through it. She's she's still pretty sore and everything. Uh, well, so say, I'll keep her in my prayers was, for you. It was in, I think it was in March. I came, went down to, it was in St. Louis, and I got her out of the house. Uh, it was kind of a little difficult with her with her hips and everything about trying to move. But we got her out of her house that, uh, well, not of her house, an apartment that was on the second story. So we had to drag her downstairs and um, get a wheelchair, and we brought her to the zoo, and I pushed her up all the hills and stuff. And I have a safe trip home from but, work, Zero. Don't text and drive. But I like, sorry. Her hips and everything. She can't do like total movement with it, but she can still kind of like, sort of like stand in one place for yeah. a moment of time. I had to start out doing that because um, when I was in the hospital, they were doing what they call a wound vac. It's like negative air where they encompass, uh, uh, encompass your wound, and they have a pump on that that you know draws all the air out of it and sucks all the fluid. So it, it so when it does that, it like slowly pulls the the wound together over time, and. Okay. On those, I have to have to have it changed every Monday and Thursday into the OR, and then after about three weeks of going through six of those, they started slowly going back on anesthesia, so that way they could do it at bedside. And oh my lord, they they did a light anesthesia, and I woke up like 15 minutes into the operation. I was literally trying to climb off that table in the OR because I mean. They didn't like flip me and put me over on my stomach and put me on that wedge where my hind end is in the air until I was asleep. So they, you know, moved me after I was already out. And I woke up with my hind end there, didn't know where I was at, and felt like three or four people in my hind end. Yeah, I'm, mm hmm. And I still remember like 15, 20 seconds of that. And then they knocked me right back out and kept me uh, back the whole entire time. And then um, in between that, they thought that uh, what. The second time that almost uh, left this world, the first time was being so septic and being in ICU and having a blood clot in my kidney, um, was I ended up getting uh, 105.7 fever. And any higher, it would have affected my brain function and, you know, I could have been a vegetable. And yeah. it was right after procedure and I stayed in recovery all day long. And then went back up into ICU again. And then the next day, it was like there was no trace of it. It was only for, you know, uh, half a day and that night. And then it went away. And they didn't know what caused it or anything. And then it was about two weeks later, the same thing happened again. Except for this time, it wasn't quite so severe. It was only like 103 fever, and it was just for that day. And they went away, and they never did could figure out, you know, what caused it. But, yeah... It made me, because uh, I don't mean to put up my family business there, but the whole entire time I was there, the 78 days, my brother did not come see me not once because he wanted to. I didn't have to beg him and bribe him and pay him to come see me, tell him I needed something, and, you know, have to PayPal him, to pick it up from the store and bring it to me. And I love him. And I, I just been fighting for years to keep us together because my mom passed in 97, my dad in 2005, and all this down here in South Carolina now is me and my brother, and then I got some aunts and uncles and cousins that's several hours away, and then our big older sister is in Virginia. And I, I'm just tired of doing it. I mean, he borrowed $250 from me when I was in the hospital. It may not sound much, but when you're only making or drawing from disability 569, it's a big deal. And then my aunt does his taxes, and she found out, and then she told me, well, he made over $100,000 last year. He shouldn't need no money. He's on to make double that this year. He's on record for it, so he shouldn't be asking for nothing, especially being in the hospital. And that was, like, the last yeah. straw. 
so that's why I don't mind being out in the middle of nowhere with no family around or anything. It's just I just got to be more careful and take my time with things. Does, does your brother have like gambling or some kind of like money problems? Like I mean, not again in the family business, but like I mean, he I mean, he runs the he runs the family business that we you know grew up in. That my grandpa still goes out and measure houses. You know, for the same carpet store that I've had uncles, several uncles, and uh, grandpa, like I said, still works for him. My dad worked for him for he passed away. Then I worked for him and did their work until my health, you know, and like 2004 started getting really bad to where I couldn't do all the heavy lifting and whatnot anymore. I was doing floor covering, you know, toting rolls of carpet in and out, moving furniture and pianos and moving them back. My body just couldn't take it. And that's when I first got my colostomy bag couple of years later because my brother needed help and knowing I wasn't supposed to be doing it to help him out anyways and I just tore up my body all over again and this time it just didn't recover and he I mean I don't know what he does with his money I, I really don't I mean his house payment's only like $1,500 a month yeah that's not much my uh well, I know one of his problems. He door dashes for him and his wife and two dollars every single night, and that's like a hundred bucks, a yeah. hundred bucks a night. And I'm like, good God. Yeah, I don't get the I don't get it that people go and don't do door dash and all that. This is like you can go down to the store or the supermarket and grab something. Like, I mean, by the time you pay for your gas to get there and then get exactly what you want if not more you are still like saving a lot of money doing that yeah well I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff that's underlying that you know i i won't go into just because this is a, a, a stream don't want to put everything out there but uh yeah. <laughs> you know issues with the with the wife the you know and you know just really not doing what they're supposed to uh my nieces are not even in school Mm, it's just a, uh, and the only thing I I've tried to do it on my own as far as to keep us together to help out when I can to go beyond my means of trying to help him and just realize that's not what's going to do it because it's like I can do everything in the book for him but he he just doesn't learn he's always always had somebody there to bail him out and he uses that and he knows I got a soft heart toward him and my sister just because of our parents not around I'm the oldest male. And he's the you know the little brother, and I just can't do it. I've had my heart broken too many times, and I'm in a position now that I you know when I was younger I never thought I would be in because I mean I'm six one, and I used to work out every single day and was pretty built, and then to go down to 160 pounds of nothing. I mean when I woke up that morning and couldn't move my foot I mean I freaked out uh, I ain't gonna lie about it and just everything just has went through my mind because I had a lot of time to think about a lot of things and I realized the way that like this YouTube channel for instance the way I was yeah it was fun in games and that sometimes of other other people's expenses as far as making fun of them you know the, the trash talk on, on the PvP or whatnot and you know, I got a little carried away, but I never, but I always had a line that I didn't cross. You know, I didn't talk about people's family, you know, their race, their gender, you know, who they pray to. I, I kept all that out of it. But the other person, you know, the, the cursing and whatnot, I just decided that's not who I want to be. And the way this, and then, you know, with the Rona and everything else going around in the world, and I mean, it, it's just, it's, it, I mean, anybody should take a hard look, you know, at the world today and, and really think about their situation and their loved ones because you never know, you know, one moment to the next if you're going to wake up or a family member or somebody dear to you that's not going to wake up. So cherish each and every moment and don't swindle it. And I was more or less swindling it, having fun and not taking care of of what I was supposed to, and I'm not meaning like financially, I meant more or less as a person, you know, spiritually. Um, and so I just decided to try to be a better person tomorrow than what I am today.
you know, uh, my dad was a minister as well. I grew up in, in church. Uh, I don't condone, I wouldn't say condone, I'm not affiliated with any religion or denomination because those things aren't what, what's going to get you to heaven. It's, you know, believing and living a righteous life, asking forgiveness of your sins and turning away from it and asking Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior and actually putting forth the effort. And the effort is, it's not about how much you donate to charities and whatnot because, it, you know, it's not based on good works. It's all in your heart. And, you know, always doing the right thing. You know, a white lie is still a lie. And yeah, I think the saying is like, do good by oneself as to others. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people take a lot of things for granted, and I, I'm pointing at myself, and, you know, the saying is now, live your best life. Well, I mean, if you really want to get down to nitty-gritty, living a road as Jesus Christ as your Savior is, is not, not meaning it just because you accepted him as your Savior doesn't mean you're going to have an easy life. It actually gets harder and you're going to be ridiculed for your faith you're going to be made fun of for uh, your faith and you know when you stand on it and just like earlier you know just the mention of the word bible and the dude flips out and goes all you know racist on it and it was never intended that it was just because the clan type was vbs and as i said vacation bible school i mean and it says you know in the last days that you'll be persecuted even more for my namesake And I don't know, I guess I shouldn't be talking about this on stream, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm just saying per personally, I don't care what anybody else is doing in this world. Live your life the way you want to. You know, it, it doesn't affect me. I love everybody, and what you choose to do with your life is on you. Your soul is yours. And what we forget, it's not about what you can say to somebody to try to win them over because most of the time, you know, if Christ himself was speaking to them, they wouldn't believe it. So through your life and through what you do and how you live and how you treat others can bring somebody to Christ faster than you just, you know, trying to preach to somebody. So you let your light shine before all men. And I'm just not going back to the same person. So uh, I want people to play with on this game. But, I mean, if there's, you know, a lot of cursing and whatnot, nothing against you. I just don't want to be around it because I don't want to constantly hear it and end up, you know, slipping and start it back up myself and not really meaning it. Because there's two portals into your, your heart and your soul, everything you see and everything you hear. That's why you can go into a restaurant and even though a song is playing so softly and it just repeats, by the time you leave that restaurant, you're driving down the road, and all of a sudden you start singing that song. It's the same way with if you hang around with a bunch of people that are cursing constantly, and that's only the only thing that you hear, regardless whether you're meaning to or not, and you get angry, that's going to be the first thing that come out of your mouth is some curse words. So I just choose not to. I won't even watch TV, you know, that has too much cursing on or whatnot. <laughs> Control Chaos has something on his Twitch chat for 2,000, you know, chat points or whatever you just earn for just you know watching a stream or whatnot and for ten thousand you put no cursing so i'll save up that for three or four days and use that and for 10 minutes he can't curse <laughs> 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 and he hates it when i do it but i mean you just expect it and i want to play with other people have fun but not at the expense of my soul Yeah, I do Sorry. that sometimes. I do, I do a little cursing, but, like, I mean, like, I don't like... I mean, it's okay if one it. slips up and every now and again, but not with every sentence that comes out your mouth. Like, you know, you oh, effing no, no, this, no. or oh, you trash can A this, you S that, and B this. Like, like the and, kid we fought. Yeah, and I, I just don't want to be around. I want to have fun, but in the right way. You know, I'll still talk trash. You know, but I will have my lines drawn even closer to me than it was before, so I don't slip that way. Um, Kill, has the game improved? Uh, no. <laughs> With 
<laughs> it's more toxic and now and as far as gameplay wise it's it's builds and unbalance it's it's worse than it's ever been um you got people that chess piece swaps and you know make kit swaps and there's still glitches go lower and you know when people find an exploit or a particular um skill that goes with a particular talent or weapon and there's a glitch to it like in sync and like the shield for instance you know if once they find that out they'll abuse it and their philosophy is well and this is for most content creators that put out like glitch videos as well it, the more people that do it and break the game then the faster the devs will fix it <laughs> no you're dumb for thinking that it's not that i mean and this game is is for an example i mean there's lots of things in the game that need to be fixed and they've used that philosophy and it still haven't been fixed and it's been years and they fix one thing and it'll break ten other things Um, I think, uh, it might bring. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me answer his question. Uh, does the new oh, content sorry. bring you know people back? Maybe the PVE crowd for a moment, but there's only so many times you can do the same mission over and over and over again. And once you get the gear set out of it and use it a couple times, and let's just say hypothetically it's trash, you know, and it needs to be reworked then how much longer are you going to stay doing that same mission over and over and over? I mean, it might last a month. And then, of course, there's, you know, new gear and new weapons and exotics coming out, but that's not coming out till later on, and that could be in 2024 before that comes up because that's year five content. Right now, we're working on just year, trying to get year four. Excuse me, it would come out in 2023. Sorry, I got confused with the, the COD thing. Wait, what? Is, is Jenna sleeping? He's, it was either a snort or he's snoring. It, it's, it's snoring. Yeah, that was, a, that was definitely a snore. <laughs> I mean, I, I really sincerely hope that it brings people in, but there's always going to be a divide between the PBE community and the PVP. And it shouldn't be that way because you have to PBE in order to get the gear and stuff to PVP with. And they have never figured out that dynamic to they, that they can adjust one on the PVE side and adjust the PVP side a little differently to still have balance. Because it's supposed to be a paper, rock, scissors, you know. If one team pulls out a build in PVP, then there should always be a counter to it. Just like it, when it comes to status effects and hazard protection. You know, things of that nature. And this game has just really lacked it. And I was on Division 1 since day one and been on the pretty much every single PTS and ETF from Division 1, the alphas, the betas, and everything. And... Yes, they've completely let me down and everybody else in the community multiple times, but we keep coming back because of the potential the game has. And they're just squandering it. Oh, I feel you. I, it's been longer than that. I mean, like I was telling them, maybe three times I've been on this game. Well, counting in the last five months. And then before that, I was only on probably a total of five times in a year and a half because of my health. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody likes the word nerf because usually when they nerf something, they either take it too far or still not enough, and it frustrates people. And a lot of people will say that instead of nerfing it, just bring up and adjust the power levels of other things to meet it. Well, I hope you don't be dreaming of me in a thong and a tutu. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's snoring. He's dreaming hard over there. But, uh, and I understand the argument, but it's like if you scale the power that way, then they also will have to scare, uh, scale the, the gear score and raise it again, and then everybody will have to farm all new stuff all over again to meet that increase in 
and your gear number and level in order to meet the damage level. And people don't necessarily understand. They just think, oh, nerf's bad. Just make other things more viable. Well, I mean, I, I believe that there needs to be a combination of both. Unless the community wants to reform for higher gear score on everything else. Like we have multiple times in the past. It's like no sniper rifle is viable except for the Nemesis. Because the Nemesis is that good. It's actually a crit sniper rifle. You can run a 1.9 million build and still one-tap somebody in the noggin with it. Without any firearms specced into it whatsoever so it makes all the other sniper rifles not viable and I believe that needs to be worked on the pestilence it used to it made a cloud after you kill somebody that it deterred those groups that are in PvP from all standing together and team team shooting you because you let that cloud go off and it would kill the whole entire squad believe me I've done it I made it an art form yeah. And, yeah, it helps against a companion. Yeah, and it also, after 10 bullets, it would uh, stifle health regen as far as for, for healing and whatnot. So, the, so that way, in my opinion anyways, was more viable and better the way it used to be than the way it is now. To where you just shoot them and then it takes, you know, that damage and ticks them. Um, what's the other build that does the same exact thing? Uh, and pretty much every bleed build out there that's you know stronger than what the pestilence does. So the, the, they made the pestilence more or less obsolete. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's still a good gun, but I mean, going against the the meta now, just hit rewind. <laughs> I mean, it's standing up to you know shield, AR, intimidate, um, and they're not using that. They're using like the uh, headshot build with the famas, health regen. And you know, shield. Yeah. And if they if they're not into that that play style, then the only viable thing is to switch to skill build because the fire sticky bomb is OP. The shrapnel traps um, are OP, and it's been that way just for so long that there needs to be balance. It's like the P416 used to be king of the ARs. Now, I mean, the Famas is because when they nerfed the P416, they basically nerfed it into the ground. When it was a slower shooting gun to begin with, so it should be a little stronger versus the RPM rate of FAMAS to be a little weaker. But yet they still could compete together. It all depended on lining your shots up and actually hitting those shots. See, in Division 1, each weapon had basically a different recoil pattern. In Division 2, there is really no recoil pattern to anything. I mean, you can control it with ease. Especially if you got like a handling build or something going yeah. on with it as well. I mean, you can spec into weapon handling all you want to, but it would really do you a disservice. All you have to do is just train yourself just to, you know, if there's a slight little recoil, just to slightly pull down on your stick. But in like Division 1, you really had to control it and, you know, sometimes with that LVOAC, pretty much you know have to be pointing down with the right thumb stick just to you know you couldn't just sit there and just hold it unless you're a PC player because they're easier just to pull down their mouse a little bit and you know beam well if you have a good uh was it perfect brace build like with uh, a craftable uh, chess piece you get at the White House you can kind of help with that uh handling yeah and you know, then you got you got two like fashions in the community, like I said, the PvP and the PvE, and they just forget to realize that we need each other. You know, it's like if you're nothing but PvE and have never PvP'd, they shouldn't be taking suggestions from you of things about PvE, like PvP, and likewise, if you're a straight nothing but PvP player. The only reason why we PVE is to get the gear to go PVP with. So somebody that only PVEs would be more knowledgeable and say like consistently running raids and whatnot for their community that do it on a day-to-day, -day, daily basis would be more knowledgeable about doing something like that than a PVP uh, player would. But like, they just uh, like uh, like from a fact that I got from you was uh, at least uh, if you're going to be a PVP player always had like a at least a quick chance of like 
like somewhere in the high 50s or a 60 and then at least 150 on crit hit damage because that affects on how you play in pvp versus how you play in pve yeah i mean and if i wanted to really be annoying in the dz i would put together the bonk build because i mean basically all you need is a shield and the lady death and not even be specced in to crit damage or anything like that just go health regen and you can just go around just rifle button people and just tap them twice and they could have almost two million armor and it, it wipe it all out just hitting them twice Oh, Lord, you're going to think I'm really old, but I think I need my glasses. It's hard for me to reach out. <laughs> um, look, one thing I was going to say when uh, you were yeah, talking Yeah, they did. About, uh, uh, kill. You ought to, you ought to take, a, take a look at, do you have Netflix? Uh, no, nah, I don't. I'm poor, oh, man. Yeah. I got Prime Video because, you know, they cut the price <laughs> in half, and then um, I only subscribe to, like, the AMC Plus because Walking Dead, but it's over now until... Um, later this year, the fall, so I'll have that cut off. <laughs> and well, then, if you ever get Netflix or do the free trial for it, I try that. Um, they won't give me no more free trials. And I'm too lazy oh, to create man. another email address. <laughs> uh, uh, Midnight Gospel. It looks weird. Like everything kind of looks like it's kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a psychedelic kind of thing. But I mean, it talks on like really hard subjects. Mm hmm. Nice. And one thing that blew my mind since we're all on this topic is the new series Halo that's on Prime. I thought it was going to kind of suck, but it's actually good. So if you like The Mandalorian and Star Wars or ever played Halo, you would like the series because, I mean, it, it's basically like the storyline of the game with the Covenant and, you know, how he gets his memory back and then, you know, he's the Covenant and... Uh, his faction that, you know, brainwashed him pretty much from birth is after him, too, because he has the Halo, and... I don't know. Like, the first episode is, like, action-packed in it. And then it goes so to, like, like to a little, little backstory of, you know, how he came to be. So is it, like, the Halo, like, the game? Yeah. Based? Yeah, Chief. Master okay. Chief. Uh, and, it's, and it's not one of those like, computer... Uh, animated type series either i mean these are you know real life actors and and whatnot so the so since you're talking about the uh computer animated thing red versus blue yeah it's nothing like that it's way better oh he's taking a little nap <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jetta, the one that's with us, that's him snoring, chat. <laughs> I must have bored him to death where he fell asleep with the controller headset on. <laughs> Somebody roll him over so he don't choke himself. <laughs> that's funny. I remember I used to be in a big clan when Div when Division first came out um, back in the day called Upper Echelon, and they had like all these little like lieutenants had it, you know structured that way to like if you had an issue you could go up to them and then the main guy uh, Chris uh, that's now Upper Echelon is his gamer tag and whatnot and his channels, um, then they you know they would go up the line with it, and uh, one of them. Because we had our own Discord and all that. I even started DZ911 in it. Long story, but there's a video on the channel if you want to check that one out. It's a DZ911 commercial, infomercial type thing. Believe me, it's not taking it seriously, and they actually took it seriously. But anyways, um, he left his webcam on, and it, and then they were they were telling me like when people like joined his chat room on Discord to talk to him, he was like beaten off or something like that <laughs> I don't care. so they quickly discharged him from the community <laughs> you always gotta know if you if that like make sure your camera and microphone is off if you don't want nobody to see or hear what you're doing <laughs> and, and see uh, that's why i've never used a webcam because since i do have a coloscopy and y'all have heard during the stream you know it's not like somebody farting well i can't control that and don't know what's coming so it just sounds like a 
a plastic bag blown in the wind. <laughs> and plus, I mean, yeah. I I would have a you know my walker in in view, and you know, it's, people don't want to see none of that. I don't need pity. See, see, like a like he probably right on killer? the video cam, like you said, but uh, like I mean, even if he was like on the like a voice chat of it, and then you hear the like. The rim shot of like the one porn channel come on. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and anybody that's left in chat or, or views this later on, if you're on PlayStation, uh, you can drop your PSN in the comments of any video uh, that's on the channel or after this video goes live. Um, because right now, I don't think I could go back and look at chat. Uh, drop your gamer tag, and you know, we'll definitely game. But uh, the reason I've taken it easy and I did that, you know, stream last week and got that 180 manhunt with chaos, and then I put out that one little PvP video. And the only reason why I haven't, you know, really jumped into it and made any more is my—I'll be honest—my heart's not in it because all my friends have, you know, basically left except for laughing here and his his pal Jetta here. Um, luckily, they were on. Uh, I just I can't make myself hop on. And knowing I need to increase my watch, wa wa I can't even talk my watch score and get better gear because all my stuff's obsolete because I've been away for so long. I just can't bring myself to do it solo. I just can't do it. I mean, if I if I try, I'd be like five or ten minutes and get completely bored. And you know, what what be the point? But you know, if I meet new people, you know, just be aware of the whole um, cursing issue thing. I hope that's not an issue for anybody. So if it's not, then definitely drop your gamer tag if you're on PlayStation. And yeah, with game. Um, because I do need the PBE to get better gear. And, you know, I will need new players for when the new content, new game mode that comes out to play with as well. Um, and hopefully you, you enjoy and like to, to PvP too. I know it's kind of frustrating the way that the Dark Zone is right now. But, you know, the, the shields and ARs and are holding it down I mean props to, to whoever I just if I had a I mean, choice and idea. they asked me I would go back to the 311 7 days of Division 2 where you could have a little bit of <laughs> skill power um, you had toughness and you still done damage so you could pick any skill and basically you would have the pokey heal from the survivalist that's what I always used and it really relied on gun skill to actually PvP with, and if you wanted to go a skill build way, you would have to solely go all out and spec into skills, and I mean, and the skills were awesome too. And it wasn't easy to create the 3.11.7 build just because you had to line up and get the right pieces with the right mod slot, and it took me forever to get the right ones. But once you finally did, I mean, everybody enjoyed it, and it wasn't much of a hassle, and you know, then, you know, basically what you see in the current meta and the way the meta has been for the, over the last year, um, I mean, though I haven't been on, I've been in streams, you know, still keep in touch with the community when I could and, you know, watch videos or whatnot. And it was my bad, my fault for back in the day, I would call out other content creators because it's not that I was clout chasing because then my channel was like three to four times their size, so there was no need to clout chase. But they would put out, just like they do now, build videos. But it would be the same build they had put out a month or two before. All they would do is change the thumbnail. And some would just do the same build and just redo the video. And But it, it they just like rinse and repeat the same build over and over and over. Because build videos get more views when it comes to Division. The PvP doesn't get as many views. And it, it shouldn't be that way, so I would call them out because in my heart, I, I love this game and wish it would and succeed and thrive and, you know, be balanced and everybody could have fun and enjoy it once again. But I felt they were doing a disservice, disservice to the community. And I should look at it, you know, that's the way they, they chose to do their channel. I should have left it alone because if, if that's what they have to do in order to get their views... And to seek notoriety and popularity and get their little yes cheerleader crowd. And, you know, if that's what they got to do to earn their living, if this is what they do for a living, then more power to them. It's not up to me to really say anything against that. And I got viewed as the bad guy, more or less, the black sheep. 
but I always wanted to set myself apart from everybody else. Thus, I have more humor in my older PvE videos and still, you know, had decent enough skill to PvP with. And, you know, I've wiped several squads solo by myself and done all that. But I was more in it just to have fun and for the enjoyment of the game and still be competitive. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I, yeah, I'm really lacking in this current meta because I don't like using the shield. I, but I understand why people use it because you simply have to use it in order to be competitive. And nobody likes to die, but that's if you're taking the game so serious. You know, I'd rather go out there, have a half mediocre build, and just have fun, no matter if I died a hundred times. You know, as long as I'm laughing, the people I'm with are laughing, having a decent time, and the people in chat are either laughing with me or at me then my job is done, because I know I'm not the greatest. I, I never profess to be that way. A lot of things, Killer. A lot. Um, I know that they'll tell you that it's hard to balance the game, but they have the blueprints from it from Division 1. It was way more balanced with their gear sets and gear pieces than Division 2 has been. But the dynamic has changed. I mean, you can see a little bit in every single gear set remnants of the old builds from Division 1. And in order to be Division 2 and think of it as something fresh and new, they had to take certain aspects of it and try to twist it and you know make it into something different but still reflect and reminisce of what Division was once was. And the way cancel culture is and, you know, the way all that stuff is now, the, the mob rules, I mean, that's how they got the the mangy dog to pet in uh, New York's uh, base of operations, the flashlight underneath the pistol. Those things could be spent on better servers for once and simply just game balancing. Um, and like the PVE aspect of it, you know, I, I would say bring back survival like we were talking earlier, you know, bring back survival, the whole underground, of course, the summit was supposed to be underground 2.0 and it just didn't, you know, live up to it. And this game mode, the new one that's coming out is basically the summit 3.0 but timed because the DAPA mission um, is more or less their blueprint for the newer game mode in a certain way they just expanded on that particular mission and map but the same challenges that you'll do in the new game mode is things you've already done in the summit they just more or less put in a different location and you know a little different task and just put a time limit on it um, just make sniper rifles more viable than having to rely on solely the nemesis to snipe with, for one. Um, if you're going to use the little fold-out mini car door shield, um, for it to absorb any amount of damage, let it solely rely on, like all other skills have to, on your electronics Lego that you have to spec into. You have to spec into some kind of electronics in order to get a decent enough amount of damage absorption from a shield. The more you add into it, the stronger your shield is get gets. Instead of like the ones like it used to be, like the more armor you have makes the more your shield more stronger. And you shouldn't be able to two tap with a pistol just because you're having and carrying around a car door. For one, yes, they still should be somewhat viable but not as viable as like a main build would be such as your ARs your LMGs your SMGs you know of things of that nature because those weapons are supposed to be stronger now I would have the argument now up close I can understand where just like a shotgun would be stronger up close but not from you know uh, mid-range like they are now and you see still some NPCs sniping you with a shotgun from four blocks down the street <laughs> um, and make enemies not so much bullet spongy to make it difficult you know just how the NPCs react you know to certain skills pretty much kind of like the hunters do but you know they can 
make it a little different than just upping their armor in order in order to increase the difficulty of it it could just be the the logic and the movement of the npcs and you know if the like say the summit for instance instead of having one faction for each different floor like some of the factions coexist and actually fight together like um what do you call them see i came for the black tusk and uh, the one with the flamethrowers that used to be the big fat pissers back in the day. They should bring those back definitely. Those were, yeah, those were tanks. Um, but kind of mix them and, you know, get them to bounce off their different tactics uh, together. You know, how one pushes up will, will charge you and then the others, you know, that'll try to beat you with a stick. They can incorporate and kind of intertwine those factions in order to make it harder just because each faction does have a different way of, of responding to you when you come across of them. And not just, well, you got to sit here until it hits 100% and, you know, shoot these waves of enemies before you move on to the next one kind of thing or intercept this one. I mean, we already have done that in the summit already, so it's nothing new. They just added the time limit, which is I don't understand. And shotguns should be a ranged weapon up close. Yes, they should be deadly. Um, but not, you know, one-tap you. But as farther that you're out should be a significant more damage drop off than what it is same way with pistols you know um a nine millimeter is not going to be as strong as you know a 357 desert eagle type thing so you know there should be more differences than there are now and just like each group of weapons should be more distinctive than what they are but yet each each set should be at least viable and compete with one another. Instead of, you know, one update, oh, SMGs are, are, are king, you know, and it's not really viable to use any other weapon, and then there's an update, and then it becomes LMGs, and then it becomes into the FAMAS, crit build, ARs, as mainly predominantly what we see now. I mean, there should be more of a balance between all three of them to where they're they're more viable than what they are. The LMGs definitely need some love, which is they're getting some love in the new broken, heartbroken gear set. But ARs are too. It's like for two pieces, as of right now, with before they change it or if they change it, ARs will get plus 15% weapon damage, and LMGs get plus 15% weapon damage. I would make the argument that the ARs don't need that extra weapon damage but LMGs do a lot uh, slower fire rate and the damage of them is so bad that <laughs> you, you can't compete with them now you can't compete with an SMG or an AR no matter what range or distance you're at LMGs just can't really compete unless you're just team shooting and being like a more of a support role like I was and with the pestilence and sitting back with true patriot but yet, if you get rushed and pushed with a SMG or an AR crit build, I mean, you're toast, no matter how much armor you have on. And there should, shouldn't be, they should take away the Petrov uh, gloves that has, that comes with the um, armor damage, and they should take off the, the, uh, the knee pads, the Fox's Prayer knee pads that have the out of cover damage onto them. Because there's too much power in, in those two things, and that's why you see if you want to compete and do a lot of damage, you have to incorporate that glove and those knee pads in order to get that damage, and it shouldn't be that way. And to get that, you know, that much damage out of it should require more than just one piece. Like, say you'd have to have two Petrov in order to get that. Or, you know, two of another gear set to, to get that out of cover damage. You know, and not just blatantly give it to you and force you to use that set of gloves and those knee pads in order to compete in PvP. And that would bring a little bit more build diversity to where if you wanted to spec into one thing, then you're going to lose out on others. And that's the way it should be. If you're going to spec all into shield, then you don't, you're not as tanky and you have no firepower. If you go all into firepower, you're squishy and you have no uh, way to, to heal yourself. But yet, there still should be a middle line for hybrid builds to somewhat compete, to spec into, you know, a little bit of skill if they want it, or, you know, branch it out, just like the, the 3117 type thing.
Yeah, see, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, they, they fixed it to where, you know, the hip fire, you couldn't do the hip fire thing anymore, even though we always try to do it when we're on fire because it always goes to that, but we never hardly hit anything. Um, but see, I mean, I got, I'm running the NG5 now just for the RPM on it, and usually I would run the RPK because it has the quickest reload speed and is basically an AR LMG hybrid. But the damage on them are, are still so low, and it still doesn't have the RPM of of an AR. So, I mean, it could compete a little bit better, in, in my perspective, than the Pestilence or, or the MG5, because it is a lot stronger, but it hits that middle ground to where it still is not really competitive, no matter what you do to it. Now, if it had, like, a little damage buff to it, just by, like, 10%, you know, then that would help it along. Or just LMGs across the board, uh, you know, a 15 to 20 percent buff to to meet the aspect of if you're facing an AR. And I understand that a SMG with the RPM and the damage should be, you know, you should be a lot stronger up close. But from mid range, you shouldn't, you know, take as much damage and be wiped out as fast as the way it is now. If they're going up against an LMG, the SMG typically wins because the LMGs right now are crap. They they just can't compete. But you know, I'm an LMG guy, and that's just what I choose to to use. But I mean, I've ran with the P416 before, um, the Tar 21. Um, but this last update just kind of like blew everything disproportionate out of the water, and you know, they people found the best thing. That, that for this update and gravitated to it like always and so the devs you know making it everything more competitive to compete with the other instead of just being totally lopsided depending on what up, what updates coming out and division one was good about more balancing and those type things you know if something was OP then they quickly jumped on it a lot faster than what they do now and everything was balanced way more than what it is because LMGs had that one build um, that increased the fire rate of your LMG. So you could actually, you know, so to speak, spray and pray. But yet, up close and personal, you would still get wiped out by an SMG because of their RPM and damage output. And you have more mobility with an SMG than what you do with an, uh, an LMG. But I'm not saying the devs have an easy job because what they do does take some knowledge and some skill it's just we've seen the first product that they made and the second one doesn't really come close to the, the balancing of the first one and it's just kind of odd that they can't get the balance of the first one into the second one when they already had the blueprint uh, I mean, I'm not no game designer or anything like that, but I mean, I've, I've heard other developers speak on the matter, and it just comes down to just cutting corners and getting things out there to appease the mob, or, you know, well, we'll put it out now just because everybody's crying for it and, you know, making a big fuss, but then they already know in hindsight that they're going to have to fix it after it's released. And people the community be like, well, I'd rather you hold on to it and release it when it's already fixed and balanced and just, you know, putting it out there and us having to deal with things until you find the time to fix it. I understand both views, but it seems like they will take forever, just like this new content is taking forever, and they keep pushing it back, pushing it back, just like they have in previous of Division 2, and when they finally release it, it's so filled with bugs and things that are unbalanced that, okay, what did you take all this extra time to actually do? And then the last big major update, thus we got a, a dog to pet in New York City. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just redundant. I mean, I wish everyone the best. I, I wish I had their, their type job, but I'm not that smart. I'm not good with numbers. You know, after I, I count all my fingers and my toes, I'm, I'm no good. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, they had a blueprint for this one and I think they listened to the wrong part of the community at first because they were the loudest and that's what kind of threw it off track and I mean this is just me thinking this now this is just my opinion and 
they they rushed things at first and now they're having to backtrack to fix it all and that more or less overwhelmed them just because the masses were were calling for it and in order to appease them they thought that they had to go ahead and push things out just to appease the community of course they did of course um now i wouldn't say this for every single game but if you have a struggling community right and i mean struggling just as far as because you see the price drop and how fast division two went into um the bend for wholesale and you know that says a, di a discount um now it's like all these mobile games like uh raid shadow legends and you know all this they get popular streamers youtubers to promote it for a price but so they can get their community behind it and in turn the you know the content creators will play their game will offer their feedback and give their feedback and sometimes the devs don't listen to them or if their community is big enough and are, are wanting something loud enough then they'll put it in there anyways thus the whole flashlight for the pistol that nobody ever uses in this game and again the dog oh well, i hope so killer it's just i mean I'm not saying not one person, uh, any person is exactly right on their philosophy or the way they think that would um, make the game better. Um, because instead of everybody fighting against each other, if we all came together and put our ideas together and work together, then we could create something, you know, that, that's really great that we don't have to be so broken hearted over, you know, expecting one thing and getting let down over and over and over. Instead of just listening to one side and, you know, making the other side mad and, you know, but there comes a time to where as a developer, you have to think, okay, this is a good idea or this is a bad idea. And it comes to priorities. You know, they prioritize that, that flashlight underneath the pistol to appease the community at the time because on social media like Twitter, it's like the masses and content creators would ask, you know, their followers to go, you know, flock over there and to tell them that that's what they wanted and to tell them they really wanted that and thus they brought it into the game. Which is if they, you know, would have stuck by their guns, they could have took the time instead of creating that into the game and apply it to like better servers, you know, balancing and, you know, all these other things. Um, before, you know, they did that and just put that on the back burner and, and be like, tell the community, okay, we'll give it to you, but let's get all these other things fixed first. Because the flashlight plays no role, except for if you're in the sewers and PVE, and it's, it's still, you know, pretty lit down there to where you don't need a flashlight. It's just cosmetic. And then the time it took to create a dog and to create the interaction that you can walk up and pet it and, you know, that and the base of Operation New York City, they could have still done that. But after the fixes and the balances and the, the time that it would take to create that dog and put it into something positive that the game really needed and then do that, you know, on their the later, a later date, like in between uh, seasons three and four or in between uh, year three and four content or year one and two content they could have done it in between and not pushed it out so fast and just took that time and effort on other things that the game needed more importantly you know i just want a game that's balanced that no matter what side of the field you fall on whether you like using skills sticky bomb seekers or whatnot or you like running straight weapons that both can have a game that's fun and that's not going to cause you to have, you know, go to therapy because you're stressed out over, you know, the game not being the way it should be as far as the glitches and everything else in it. Or certain things being totally OP and people just abusing them instead of reporting them. And, you know, or, you know, the glitches that come out, these all these content creators that put out, well, this is how you do the glitch. And it, it's not it's not good for anybody because they lag down the server and they're not going to, you know, make it any faster of the fixes that they're not going to put out the fixes for it any faster by you know telling everybody how to do it it's just going to make the rest of the community suffer until they finally do
that's why I mean all these other content creators put out glitch videos and I kind of trolled the community and would put out well uh, this glitch is back and then we'll just go over the whole spiel was if you just clicked onto this video to learn how to do a glitch you're in the wrong place because that is bad for the community and you shouldn't be exploiting using exploits in a game if you know it's broken and that's supposed to be the intent of the developers then you shouldn't be using it you know Yeah, I mean, on paper, initially, the three Dark Zones uh, was a good idea at first because it switched up from um, the first one. But, okay, there was a lot more verticality in the map in the Dark Zone in Division 1 than there is in Division 2. There were a lot more buildings you actually had to climb up into all over th one through nine of the you know the dz i mean you got you had your subways you had your buildings you could go up into and you know and it, and it brought up brought a course of you know well a long range weapon is not going to be good for short hallways type scenarios and you know to where you can snipe you had better sniping positions in the dark zone and it was just a lot more verticality where there's not so much in all three of these dark zones there's what that one shopping mall that's in one that has a couple of different you know levels but nobody really pvps in there it's just it's just a landmark to take down because it has two chests um so i mean you know, ask anybody it's not a, a place you want to pvp at because of all the the ads and then um you got another dark zone that you go into like a little building up like 10 steps and then it has just like two hallways that split off i mean that's not really verticality and then you got that parking garage you can go to on one map that goes underneath. And it's just like a, you know, a big open thing. But I wouldn't really call that verticality. You know, I mean, it's very minimal in this game. And if they would have had like, you know, in all three of more places of that you can go up and down into, then I, I think it would be a, better than what it was. And maybe not have split it up into three dark zones and just have two dark zones, but bigger. I think that would have been better than the three, and then them, then just them two would switch off between occupied and not occupied. But supposedly the rumor through the grapevine is they're taking the turrets even out of the uh, the unoccupied dark zone, so there's not going to be any more turrets to help save anybody. So there'll be no more people afraid of getting killed just sitting inside the checkpoint, just like it is in occupied. Now that's that's how things are going to be unless you know it's changed. Um. And supposedly they're going to be fixing the chess piece switch glitch um, and these other uh, glitches that are out there. It's like, now, I myself kind of cringe when I see streamers like using the glitch to where you can hold the decoy in your hand and become visible. And, and, you know, I'm not saying they're a bad person for doing that. I just say I personally wouldn't do it myself. Uh, because I, I think it's an exploit and it's not something that should be intended in the game just by holding a decoy to become invisible. So therefore I see it as an exploit. And it shouldn't be done if you really want the integrity. I mean, that's just further solidifying uh, other people to use other things because if you... Somebody hopped into your stream while you're doing that and they're doing like, say, when the, if the damage glitch was back and you say tell them, well, don't use damage glitch because it's an exploit and it's not fun for anybody... How can you make that argument if you're using an exploit to become invisible by holding a decoy? It's the same thing. It's just, you know, different weapons. And that's how I lost my clan in this game right before my health got done because they wanted to use the exploit glitch. And I had that rule in the clan, RGN, that we don't use exploits. We are legitimate gamers. And you had to leave if... I didn't mind for PvE, but for PvP, no. And I called a couple of them out and they left because they would rather use a damage glitch exploit and they use that whole spiel well, I'm a grown man I can do what I want okay well it comes down to integrity you know do you really need that damage glitch in order to PvP with the only way you're going to get any better is to go out there with your own God given talent and skill or whatnot. and just like anything the more you do it the better you become at it instead of you know using an exploit in order to to kill somebody in PvP. And I've never wanted, to, you know, to be a real big streamer or whatever. It just 
I blew up there at once, and you know I was happy for it. You know, I still didn't took take the game seriously. I, I liked having fun. Um, and you know, I still don't expect to uh, you know to be such as where um, Patrick Sheep or Kamikaze Von Dum Dum or I lost my identity or or Warm Boy. Um, you know, I was bigger than them before I left, and you know now they engulfed my channel by you know three or four fold. I could care less whether I get to those heights again. I just want to have fun and do my due diligence to a community in which I love and care for. I want to see the community succeed. I want to see the game to succeed. And I always put the game first before I do myself and my own popularity. Because, I mean, I could care if somebody, whether they like me or not, you know, as long as I'm speaking the truth, you know, then love me or hate me you're always going to get that from me the truth and I don't have a filter still on my mouth so if you ask me a question I'm going to be blunt and to the point I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm just going you know you ask the question I'm going to answer it and I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings or bothers you but how can the truth really do that if it's the absolute truth it's like the old selling goes the truth will set you free but first it's going to piss you off because most of the time, people don't want to hear the truth, even if they ask for it. And I've always just, you know, been straight up with people. And I just, you know, love me or hate me. And just went with that and try to set myself apart from every other streamer or content creator on the division. But, you know, I realized this game is not going to last forever. And I plan on branching off and playing other other games. It's like on Halloween, I played that new horror game that came out with Soul Killer, my, my best friend on the game from California. Um, he's got a real bad toothache so send him positive vibes and prayers um you know i'm definitely gonna whether you laugh at me or not i'm definitely gonna play you know hogwarts legacy and you know get my little wand action on and play some quidditch or whatnot in the open world of harry potter um and play other games that come out you know in between them um and try to give the channel more of a variety but you know this will always be where i came from as far as division one and division two and I'm always going to strive to be and set myself apart from any other streamer. I'm never going to put on a fake smile or a fake mask and, you know, just uh, some kind of gimmick to draw subscribers in or to get, get clicks. I'm never going to put clickbait titles. I might put vague titles and make you wonder, well, what this video is about, but not just bold-faced lie to you and the video not even be about that. That's just not me. You're always going to get it straight up and to the point from me. But I think I've heard me ramble on enough, and I know uh, laughing, he's out there playing. So uh, I'm going to stop talking and, and go out there and join him for a few more minutes, and I'm going to hop off. But I really do appreciate each and everybody that uh, what? has tuned in, that that stuck by me through this whole two years of not being on, that you know sent me emails and texted me and wondered where I was at. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the, the true MVPs of the community. Because... I don't deserve it, and y'all gave it. Huh? Ah! Run! 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 Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That rogue player had rape eyes. Be careful. Look how you got. Somebody got beans. Yeah, got shot. Allah, it dies. Coming up, he's coming up. Beyond you, beyond you. Oh, how did he know I like it from behind? <laughs> See, I just made him laugh by saying something stupid. That's that's my goal. It's just uh, whether you're laughing with me or at me. Just you know, as long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. But Killer, Zero, everybody that's been in the chat tonight, I appreciate you. I just, I just don't know how much. Ha! Huh. What the fuck am I? I was gonna say, if you ever, if you're ever on, like, uh, if I'm ever on, I'll join you or whatever. Sweet. Yeah, cause I mean, uh, 
I mean, most of the time it'll it, it'll be like afternoon or nights right. because uh, I don't know how long I'll have those dressing changes, but she usually comes, you know, uh, early right after this lunch or whatnot. American. God bless you. American in the floor. American in the floor. And what's wrong with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah, but to, uh, but look what look at what we created for this. being in the dirt. <laughs> the best nation on the planet is what we become for laying in the dirt. Silence! I kill you. Days, bro. Allahu Akbar. I, I... Silence! I kill you. For real. Oh, he he set my butt here on fire. Somebody put me out. Put me out. Wait, wait. I just had braided my crack here last oh. night, and he done burned it off of me. Dang it. Oh my god. You need fucking skills, fucking bot. Buenos dias, right. señorita. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, when... easy. Adios, adios, mi amigos. Muy bonita, señorita. Spanish, you fucking. I never said you were Spanish. Adios. Arrivederci. Fucking stupid or what? Yeah. That's actually pretty but nice enough to translate it for you. Me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could have used some foul words, but I'm trying to be Mr. Nice no, Guy, man. you know. Oh, my yeah. God. Hey, somebody come here and hold my taco. Your fucking mother was, they were so fucking easy. Hey, no need for the cursing. You know, there is other vocabulary, so you might want to expand it. You don't have to sound so ignorant. Listen, what? Your goat is easy, dude. Why would you talk bad about your goat like that? I mean, did did your mom ever tell you that oh, humans are not to pro procreate with goats, and you try to do it every time? I'm not the one trying to make love to goats, senor. Okay. Come on, senor. I'm not the one that's got a, a thing with goats, you know? That boy ain't taking no damage, bro. Wow. He was also... Easy, easy. What? I'm still here. You didn't take me down. Who was easy? Easy, motherfucker. Donde esta el sanitario? Really angry. I'm a lot from Lakeham. <laughs> yeah, I said I'm gonna give you some greasy bacon. No man. Come here, I want to give you some of my greasy bacon. Silence! I kill you! No, I'm actually a human person, just like you. Well, we all bleed the same blood, but I. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, just because he likes to make love with goats, we shouldn't make fun of him. Oh my god. Hey, goat molester, come here. Easy. Yes, you were easy. 
other ass, you get. You want to? Did he just say he wanted to eat my butt? He probably wants to take my butt cheek hair and use a dental floss. You know those What's third world countries. You know they 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 poor and don't have much. So you know. Oh, there's. <laughs> well, bro, we have oil. oil. On, I can <laughs> buy you. I can come buy your mother. I can buy your father. What I can you buy your whole family. I can. And hey, you gonna you buy my chickens, my goat, and my cow? Yeah, I fucking yeah. Donald Trump if I want, and motherfucker. Why don't come you buy a translator? Oh. How about that? Combodies nuts. Combodies nuts. There, Patrick. I don't. No, I don't bro, know bro, if bro, I have bro, enough bro, loose bro. change to buy them, sir. All I got is a five dollar bill. I think they, I think they got some rubles or something. Hey, taco my burrito, you enchilada. Hello, excuse me, coming through. I fucked you all, guys. Shut up. Yes, and I made your mouth sore. Listen, listen. Yemeni, arrest me when it's a Excellent. Excellent. Allah Akbar. Was that killer? Did Cuban get America legally or by both? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know who's who or who's saying what. I'm just kind of going along with it. <laughs> now I'm going to go up in there barking like a goat. Meh! 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 Uh -huh. You better be halal chicken, bro. I love halal. <laughs> He might not shoot at me. If, he might not shoot at me if I sound like a goat. He might just try to make love to me instead. Hey, everybody, just grab some bacon. He's allergic to pork and, and won't go for it. So we just towed around some bacon. We'll be safe. All right, we can just sound like swine. Hey, let's all squeal like pigs and they'll run. Wee! 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 What happened? What happened? I thought by sounding like swine, you might not shoot at me. Because I know how you like your goats and your pigs, so you know. Did he just say something about the hair on his legs? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, they got that place. Pretty much covered up those staircases between, uh, I think they got two DPSs, and I know they have somebody with a uh, hive and then a mortar. Stop treading on my Hershey Highway. Hey, I'm not your daddy. Leave me alone. You're my son. You're my bastard. What? You you got a crouton? My, what? My, my fucking butt. I don't understand what you're saying, man. Take that goat's balls out your mouth and speak plain. <laughs> you didn't fall asleep on me, did you? Laughing? No, I'm here. Oh, 
I know a uh, saying uh, in their native tongue. And you're not going to believe where I learned it from. From the 1980 series of DuckTales. The cartoon. I'm going to America where we don't have to make love to our goats and our livestock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love DuckTales. Gizmo Duck. They don't make cartoons like they used to. One of my favorite cartoon movies of all time would have to be Transformers the movie. I will still watch that to this day. The music was awesome in it too, if you like that, you know, 80s rock. Slap hands! Slap hands! Hey, where's that? Hey, goat lover, come here. I want to talk to you, goat lover. Come on down here. Nope, they they gone. Don't come down here no more. You disrupted them. <laughs> Adi Jamra. Nala. Did you just say you were Jamaican now? Would you make up your mind, boy? No, no, no. Yes, listen, yes. listen. Uh, in America, in America. I kill your goat. You knew that? Hey, I heard goat's pretty tasty. At least, at least I raised with, uh, by my father. You don't know who is your father. It's your neighbor. Uh, my father is in heaven. He's called the Heavenly Father. Now, I have a dad that would that procreated me, but my father is in heaven, dumb nuts. Just remember, just remember, you, you are a descendant of Abraham. <laughs> that doesn't mean make love to a ham that hasn't died yet. <laughs> easy, easy. Come, 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 very easy. Yes, I, I, yes, I did come very easy. Thank you for the pre-ejaculation. <laughs> Your cam is a girl. My camel's a girl. What? <laughs> what did he just say about a camel? <laughs> hey, it's not a camel toe. It's called a moose knuckle. It's a moose knuckle, not a camel toe. Easy guys, easy, easy. Come, 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 Hey, I just spoke eight different languages and you just don't comprehend, man. You've been talking about greasy bacon and goats and Lord knows what. Oh, 
في واحد مسكني يمكن لف لنا يا ماجد من ورا هنا أربعة هذا سكن أيوة واو نايس جاك عبد الكوار هو ترى ضايقنا فخ ايش قال لي غموض خلية ثاني <laughs> All right, folks, uh, that's really going to do it for me. I done talked myself out of everything. But yeah, it's after midnight, but I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, I do have some more footage from another uh, long manhunt with uh, Control Chaos that I still haven't put up yet. and um, I will be streaming more often. Um, like I said, you know, I'm way behind. I'm not the best, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to try my best to always, you know, make it at least fun for chat. And I don't mind being laughed at. But thank you, everybody, so much. I appreciate oh, you so all. Much. Have a good night. I will see you all probably uh, Thursday night or Friday night. See you guys later. Meh, meh, meh.